Hey guys, Brent Old Build Show. Come join me today. We're gonna to look at the barn. We're gonna talk about the materials and why those material selections matter so much today in the Build Show. Okay guys, so this probably looks very different than it looked before, right? We have actually changed the materials. We're still massaging and working out these details so that it looks perfect and looks right on this job. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you remember, we've got these samples back here that were our first attempts at the stone samples, right? What does this stone look like? And so always on our projects, we're trying to create a narrative. And so we've got this sample up, one to kind of show our client all the parts and pieces, how it's all gonna to come together, right? Got our 100 year window. We got these wood lentil beams, right? That are gonna read as the, the, the lentil. We've got this siding. We wanna look at the scale of the siding, the face of that stuff. And we've got an open rafter eave, and then we've got a closed box eave, right? So a bunch of different stuff. We've got the wallaba roof, which is that Australian hardwood for our wood that has fire protection in it. Because if there's a prairie fire out here, you don't want this thing lighting up. So, but, but then we get into the stone. You'll notice we've changed Change the mortar color, okay? The mortar color is no longer gray, it's white. And then we started going in here where we've got this kind of coining, the blocks and the things that would have locked the building together, that would have tied it together. So we're trying to imply that coining there. And then as you get up higher, we get into more rubble rock. Now, still not right, still not what we're looking for. And so what we're actually gonna have is a narrative when you look at the house, because that log cabin was earliest, it's gonna have almost a dry stack stone that's going to you know, read as the earliest building. And then this stone, which happened 50 years later, right? That's part of our story, makes that upper part of that barn. The log cabin came from a company here locally called Southwest Logs. They actually found those timbers for us and actually made the dovetail corners. We talked about that in my last video where how this was locked together. The barn came from Heritage Barns. They're down in Waco. They're a group that buys barns up in New England and restores them and then brings them down to Texas. They've done a number of projects in Texas. So there are companies that, you know, salvage and build these barns and, and you know, make them work. Now, what happened is that barn came from New York. So it was taken down. All the parts and pieces were labeled. All the parts and pieces were numbered, okay? It gets put into a sheet. Those logs get put on a truck and actually went to Montana where they're, where they're building a lot of their barns. They restored this barn in Montana. They actually built all those bents, all the, the, the elements that go between here, the ones that stand up are called a bent. They build all those things on the ground and then they disassemble them put them back on the truck and bring them down here, okay? Then they reassemble them and they crane this thing up. This thing goes together in about three or four days, amazingly. And so now we are building the structure around it, but that's how the barns are made and that's how they're brought together. Now, let's go check this out. Okay guys, so we're in this barn now and you kind of get a sense for the scale and the materiality, right? We're talking about the materials and the stone, but look what's going on here. And as you look at this timbers and, and what's going on here, you see, look at the size of that beam, okay? That isn't normal. That huge freaking beam that goes out. Here's an old mortise and tenon joint, right? So there's an old peg in there. We could probably knock that thing out. There's the tenon as it sits inside this thing. And so all of these joints, it's like a huge piece of furniture that's been put together, right? You got mortise and tenon peg joints that are locking it all together and it comes in these bays right and you'll see oftentimes with Georgian style houses you'll see this this symmetrical arrangement why is that because each of these things the way timber frame was historically made was that when you would have these bays and bents okay so each of those end pieces that's laid up is a bent and then it creates a bay what that does is it creates some automatic symmetry and so you'd have these houses with kind of this five bay arrangement where you know your window would be in between between the two bents be sitting right here and you wouldn't put a window here right because it's right in the middle of your timber framing so there is there is a way that those were built and it communicates how those houses were built in the Georgian and the federal era but anyway you get a sense for you know the scale and the size of this room and we had the clients here the other day just showing them how all this is coming together and it really was awesome because we are all just kind of going ooh ah you know th these great details and this great 
story and narrative that's been immediately captured by bringing in this historic barn. So what you're seeing guys now is these is this brace that's going in here and it, it kind of locks this thing together. We've got a wall of windows and doors that are going on here. And truthfully, even though this barn is 150 years old or 200 years old, the frame structure is really decorative, okay? It isn't really something we're relying on for, you know, to, to stand up. So it becomes almost decoration. That's why we've got the framing going around on the outside. So we will frame this on the outside. You can see the windows and the other things that are being put in there. Now look, historically, they would have framed in these bents anyway, right? We're just doing it with conventional framing on the outside because we want all of this to show, right? We want these old mortise and tenon joints to really show and, and build that character of the house. And so what you're seeing now is our conventional framing going on the outside. By the time you get into this massive space, there'll be bedrooms above there. This will be kind of this magic space. And look at what, look at the view you've got out here, guys. We've got the lake that's sitting out here. And so you're gonna have these doors that open out onto this patio. This beautiful lake that you'll be able to look down on, it's about half full right now. Should be a magical space. Okay, so what was happening here, we got bedrooms and bathrooms up over here, and then we've got this, this wall that looks out east, right? That looks out over this beautiful terrain. And so this will be mostly glass and wood. These will be 100-year windows that we're putting in here. But let's look at how this connection happens between the barn and the log cabin, right? And so you are actually in, a, we're in a bedroom now. So th these bedrooms, and I don't know if these bucks were in there last time, where we have our windows are gonna sit inside. This is called a buck, but this is our log framing. This is our log cabin here, and it ties directly into this barn so that you know the barn's going to rise up this will be a single story building our barn's going to rise up above this and should be a pretty incredible space but from the outside you're going to see these mixture and this story that happens between this original log cabin right this was the first structure put here on the property this timber frame structure came later right and then the main house will be up on the hill so there's a hopefully a story and a narrative that's happening here that really you know creates a sense of place so that when you come here you're like wow i'm really somewhere else i've been transported and this old millwork these old timber frames really does that okay guys so we're now down at the lower level right this is a double level barn so you walk in at the upper level you'll go down and come out at a lower level pretty typical the way barns were done so that you could have a relationship on different levels of the barn, drive tractors in and things like that. But now you get a sense of the scale. There'll be a chimney on this side. This kind of massive framing that's going to come out is the steel work. Actually, it'll be two, la two layers high. You'll actually be able to go up and look out over this beautiful landscape, but a massive project. The stairs are about to come down. Really a cool place to hang out. Hopefully we're done by the end of the year, get these guys in here, but the barn project's really coming together. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. If you do that, there's a lot of stories and stuff I do on there, Home Millwork, Hull Homes. As we come out here, that you'll get updates more quickly instead of waiting for the YouTube videos to come out. Sign up for the newsletter, and if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I'm Brent Hull, thanks for watching.